Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and yesterday the Mets dropped a rubber game to the Philadelphia Phillies in what was finally a well-pitched game on both sides. Um, after two uh, not well-pitched games, <laughs> to say the least, uh, in the previous two uh, yesterday, Zach Wheeler and Jake Arrieta um, put on a pitcher's duel, and Arietta got the better of the exchange. Uh, pitched really well into the ninth inning, and the Mets lost 3-2. to two. Uh, I want to talk about the game yesterday. Uh, I want to talk about what's coming up uh, for the Mets this weekend. And uh, not going to be a long one today, but uh, wanted to get something recorded before uh, the holiday weekend. Back-to-back uh, -back disappointing starts kicked off this series with Philadelphia. Um, Noah Syndergaard, as I talked ad nauseum about the other day, um, started out strong but really fell apart quickly in his game on Monday. Um, Tuesday, the, the, the massacre, as, uh, as the Mets Twitter was, is calling it um, appropriately, uh, we're not going to talk anymore about that either. Uh, and then yesterday, um, Zach Wheeler sort of turned things around. Uh, pitched very well, pitched seven strong innings, did come up three runs. But look, that's a quality start by any measure, um, particularly at this point in the season when the Mets' starting pitching has been so odd. Uh, and I say odd because we've become accustomed to the starting pitching for the Mets being... Um, a strength of the team. I mean, being like a real strength of this team where you can really depend on the starting pitching. And right now, uh, the Mets starting pitching staff is, uh, I think, the 22nd best in baseball in terms of war, uh, wins above replacement. Um, and then, then we add in the bullpen, and when we look at the team's ERA, uh, it's uh, almost six. It's 5.87 or 5.78. I don't know if I swapped those last two digits. But that's uh, the fourth, I think, the fourth worst in all of baseball or the fifth worst in all of baseball. I mean, it's, it's in the bottom. And while we've come to expect that from the bullpen uh, over the last, I don't know, when did Billy Wagner leave? Uh, <laughs> over the last, like, 20 years, um... We don't expect it out of the starters. You know, we've ex we've come to expect the starters to be better, and I, I, it's early in the season. The Mets are now ten and eight after losing yesterday. Um, it's early in the season, but I expect the the starters to r return to form. Um, I, I I I just don't expect. I certainly don't expect Degrom to be what he was the last two games. And uh, speaking of Degrom, it's worth noting that. Um, the Mets are going to be skipping him on Friday and instead going with with, uh, with Vargas, which which is wonderful. It's a great way to kick off the series with the Cardinals. But DeGrom has strep throat, I believe. And um, as I said before, there's been this, this illness floating around the Mets clubhouse, and that could very well be the root cause of the, the poor performances. Um, or it could just be an excuse that, that I'm, I'm making. But, you know, to know that now Jake is sick and they're pushing him back a day as a result of that, um, I don't know, it could it could be an explanation for some things over the first, uh, you know, 18 games of the season. But anyway, back to, uh, back to what I was saying. I do expect the starters to return to form, um, to, to get back to what we expect of them, or at least trend in the direction that we expect of them. Um, you know, the wild card has been and, and probably will always be Steven Matz. And up until his start uh, two nights ago, uh, I really thought he was he was turning the season. Uh, you know, he was going to be the, the 2019 Zach Wheeler where he was going to have a, a lights-out season um, where he sort of like something clicked and, and that was it for him. But um, it, it's not too late for that to happen, of course. As we know, Zach Wheeler struggled mightily in the first half of 2018. And he came back to pitch a terrific second half. So, um, anyhow, the Mets will uh, the Mets will look to rebound from losing two out of three in Philadelphia, uh, facing the uh, the St. Louis Cardinals, who are playing very well and are a very good team. And we get to face Adam Wainwright on Friday night, which is terrific. Uh, always love seeing Waino on the mound. Um, doesn't make me think about anything that's a terrible memory that's etched into my brain at all. Um, 
So maybe the Mets can can beat up on Wainwright like uh, the Phillies did on Mats the other day. Speaking of the Mets offense, I want to talk really quickly about that before we uh, before we wrap up today. Um, yesterday, the Mets offense was held to two runs. Um, as they have done all season, those runs were scored late. And it, it sort of continues this trend that the Mets are never out of any games. And uh, it was interesting, and I, I wanted to check this this morning before I recorded, but I didn't. Um, and maybe I will before I post this on the blog. Um, I want to see if uh, if this is the the how many times the Mets offense have been has been limited to this few runs. Um, you know, scoring two runs is has been a rarity for this this offense. They, I think they had what seven games straight where they scored six or more. Um, and again, this is sort of one of those disparity things where you're like, oh, with this pitching staff scoring six or more, they should have won. You know, all seven of those games, well, not so much. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I, I digress on that. Um, so I I just wanted to comment on the offense. I, I do strongly believe that this offense is sustainable. This is not a lightning in a bottle situation where once you take the lid off, the, it's gone. Um, I think this is a, a legitimate powerhouse offense that has pieces coming back to it that should make it better. And I am not talking about Todd Frazier. Although, um, you could do worse than a guy like Frazier in, in the clubhouse and on the bench. Uh, I just don't like to see him taking playing time away from any of these guys right now because they've all been playing so well. Uh, except maybe for Robbie Cano, but that's another story. Um, and I'm not worried about Cano either, by the way. Um, no, I'm not talking about Frazier. I'm talking about Jed Lowry. Jed Lowry is beginning a rehab assignment. Um, and I don't, that actually is probably not correct. He's going to go to Port St. Lucie and he's going to be hitting some balls. Um, so he's working his way back toward a rehab assignment, back toward um, coming back or, or making his debut for 2019. I kind of like the fact that he didn't start the season with the team. And what I mean by that and why I'm saying that is while guy, a guy like Pete Alonso, who's new to the league, uh, and, and J.D. Davis, who's pretty young and doesn't really have a book out on himself yet. Um, for, guy, for guys like that, when the league starts to adjust to them, they have to make adjustments back. And rather than beating them up and having their batting averages drop 200 points, um, it'll be nice to have a guy like Lowry show up who can spell them for a day or two. Um, playing third base, base, playing second base, playing first base, playing shortstop. So we're going to see Jed Lowry come in and, and offer rest to this entire team and I think that's going to be good particularly for the younger players so I'm looking forward to to Lowry returning or making rather his season debut for the Mets um, and we'll see what that looks like and when that happens um, Todd Frazier though will be back very soon so it'll either be this weekend in St. Louis uh, or it'll be uh, sometime next week when the Mets uh, when the Mets return home so uh, that's going to wrap it up for today uh, I think I don't think I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, it is uh, it is Easter weekend, so I hope all of you have a happy Easter if you celebrate the holiday. Um, if not, have a great weekend. Um, I will not, as I said, I will not be back tomorrow. Um, I have nothing to really talk about because there's no game tonight. So unless the Mets go out and sign Keuchel or Kimbrel um, this afternoon, I, I won't be back tomorrow morning. Uh, my next video will be Monday morning to wrap up and recap the weekend set with the St. Louis Cardinals where hopefully the Mets return to form and uh, take two out of three from the, the Redbirds. So until then, thanks for watching. I appreciate it as I always do. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you're not already doing so at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.